Trevor Bauer, the pitcher for the Reds, I mean, just completely excoriated the commissioner in a tweet. Pretty much called him a, a, a you know, low brain wattage. I'm paraphrasing. And really, really killed him about it. But the thing that most people take offense to, which I don't quite get, is the teams that finish with the second best record. So the team with the best record in each league would get a bye for the first best of three. Right. The team with the second best record gets to choose the opponent that they want to play. And everybody said, oh, that, God bless you, Peter, all right? Well, thank you. A piece of your brain flew out. <laughs> you know, I turned my mic off. You don't have to embarrass me like this. He never lets it go. I do it all the time, too. He cannot let a sneeze go. Well, I, You're like I have Vince, to say, God bless you. You're like Vince McMahon. He, he doesn't like sneeze. A sneeze in a meeting with Vince McMahon, <laughs> it's said, can derail the meeting for 30 minutes. He can't even, like, get it together. Really? He hates it. He hates the sign of sickness. Well, that I see, but I don't. I don't mind sneezing. All right. Well, thank you very much I for the just blessing. Said bless you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And then deeply. I saw a piece of your brain fly. That is not out. just not right out of your left nostril. Anyway, I love that aspect of it because I love the uncomfortableness of a team having to choose another team, and that gives the other team so much incentive to just knock the other team out of the playoffs. What is bad about that? What is bad about it? It's all theater. It's all entertainment. So if you could heighten the entertainment and heighten the drama and heighten the stress, isn't that exactly what you want? The, oh, yeah. the only part of this that I don't like is adding that many more playoff teams. And, again, I'm a baseball purist, but <clears throat> it works in football. It works in basketball. It works in hockey. And it is going to keep people involved. The thing I don't like is that it's being spun that is going to stop people from tanking. Oh, please. If you think you can get into playoffs with 81 wins, you're still going to tank anyway. You're not going to spend money. I don't know. Because baseball, you've seen many times where teams that are lower seeds win championships. Like in the NBA, yeah, what good's being an 8 or a 7 seed? You're likely not going to go very far. Right? So maybe you'd rather have the pick that get bounced in the first round. Like we were joking about the Knicks. Imagine if they made a run, finished in the eighth seed. They get destroyed by Milwaukee in the first round, whoever they played. They get swept. What good is that? But baseball, and I'm looking for the tweet, Michael, because it was um, the story was broken um, by the Post uh, yesterday. By Joel. By Joel Sherman. And so he's been defending it, although I don't know why he feels like he has to defend it. He well, just broke I, the story. He, but I, I think, think he, he kind of agrees it. with yeah, it. Yeah, he likes it. That Because he was kind of getting at it because Keith Overman hates it. So they've kind of been going back and forth. And here are the numbers of the teams that have won the championship in the last 10 years and where they were seated as far as best record in baseball. Okay? Okay. 5-9-6-1 Ten, four, three, one, nine. So you had a team with the ninth best record win the World Series, the tenth best record, the ninth best record in the last ten years. Three times there's been a team that has been nine or ten to win. We've also seen a five win, a six win. So baseball's a lot like hockey. You get in it, you, you might be able to make a run and win a championship. Yep. So if I'm a team that has a chance to tank where I might be able to get the first overall pick and somebody that can bear fruit for three, four years from now, or I can maybe fight, make a deal, sneak into that, you know, um, low seed, and maybe I can make a run. So I, don't, I do think it's anti-tanking. I think this is probably the main reason why they're doing it, Michael, is they're trying to stop teams from tanking and making deals at the deadline and trying to be better and try to see if they can't be that Cinderella team. Well, I, I think the main reason is to keep more cities interested and to give more inventory for the new television contracts and playoff inventory. So that's, that's the main reason. If the offshoot is that it stops some teams from tanking, okay. But here's what Trevor Bauer said yesterday. 17 hours ago, he tweeted this out. No idea who made this new playoff format proposal, but Rob is responsible for releasing it. So I'll direct this to you, Rob Manfred. Your proposal is absurd for too many reasons to type on Twitter and proves you have absolutely no clue about baseball. You're a joke. Now, we're trying to get Trevor Bauer on the air, but what about this is that terrible? Now, I understand, you know, even D.D. Gregorius, why are they messing with this, this great game? Because this great game has had attendance drops, uh, viewership drops, and it skews older. So get your head out of the sand. It is a great well, game. I think it's the best game in the world. But you've got to 
You've got to grow at the times. You've got to evolve. But why is it okay for the other sports and not baseball? For a long time, it was probably because, well, we're baseball. We don't have to do these silly little things to get people interested in our sport. We're the national pastime. Well, over the last 30, 40 years, Michael, that's been eroded, not just because of maybe a decrease in interest in baseball, but a rise of sports like basketball. Where was basketball 30 years ago, Michael? Now basketball is, is fighting to be the number two sport in this country. People care about basketball. Hockey has grown tremendously over the last 20, 30 years compared to where it is now. And football's become a beast that nobody can touch. And all those sports have found ways to be able to add playoff teams. Baseball will still have, what, uh, less teams than basketball and hockey making the playoffs. Yep. Well, why is baseball, that's what I would ask Trevor Bauer, why is baseball exempt from doing what every other sport's been able to do? Because it can't stand as, you know, sit there on its, on its throne and say, we're the kings of sports anymore. They've got to get over that. They're not. And they've got to fight and dig and grab and steal whatever they can to try to get an audience. And, and the... the, the the assault on Manfred. Now, you might not like the way he handled the Astro situation. I don't. I don't think it was perfect. I think it was probably all that he could do. But I will tell you this. He's not stay, staying status quo. There's something up with the game. You've got to speed it up. He's trying to do that. So he's trying different things. And to say that he's ch essentially changing the game. The NBA went to three points. That was never a part of the game. It was part of the ABA right. game. They changed that. That was a diametric difference. The NFL, very quietly, have, has made a total offensive league. You can't even touch a receiver. So you've changed the essence of the game there. This isn't even changing the essence. They're adding playoff teams, and then they're adding something that I look as dynamic, where you have to choose the team, because Don said it yesterday, what's the most unanswered question of all time? Well, what team do you want to play? Ah, uh, we'll play anybody. Well, now you're going to have to well, pick somebody that you're going to play. I think that's great. Well, also, I just think that how many, how many things are there in which people wouldn't flip out and go, that's the essence of the game. So many rules in baseball are like so sacrosanct that you can't touch them. Them, right? right balls and strikes oh we're gonna have we're gonna have three balls and th those things are never changing so where can you make the changes See, i can understand hemorrhaging from the eyes if you're going to put a runner at second base in the 10th inning to speed up a game now Which you're really do. now you're really talking about something that kind of compromises and change what we've seen for centuries with baseball but well, this is what i would say to trevor bauer i don't know how old he is he's probably a little too young to remember i think he's 30 when we went through the addition to the wild card that was in the mid-90s. Michael, you were, it was in your wheelhouse. You were doing Yankees. I was in sports radio at the time. People were apoplectic. You know, Bob Costas was going on every show. You're killing my game. How do you add a wild card? The beauty of baseball is the attrition of a long season to try to survive and win the division. The wild card has worked. It has created more interest. It has created excitement in the postseason. It has absolutely positively worked. So if they were as closed-minded as people seem to be now about these changes, we would have never seen the wild card. We would have never seen the interest grow around the wild card. Now it's time for Chapter 2. You've got to have to evolve, man. You've got to be able to keep up with the Joneses. I'm sorry. If every other sport can expand their playoffs, then guess what? Baseball can too. I, I, I would just like to find out, because he said it was too much to type on Twitter, what exactly do you take offense to so strongly that you would disparage the commissioner that way? The commissioner is trying to, to grow the game. And then D.D. Gregorio, why do you mess with this game? If you're a player and you don't see that there's something diametrically wrong with the game, I'm sorry, then your head's in the sand. Or your head's somewhere else. you got to wake up. It's hard, Michael, for especially a player like D.D., who... Where he came from, it's been all about baseball. So when you're that close to it, sometimes you don't see that change is needed. You're perfectly happy with it. You're surrounded. You're engulfed in this game. But you have to think outside the lines and how do people feel about baseball that aren't as into it as you are, that didn't play it their entire lives. You know, we grew up, Michael, we're basically lower we're options to, to grow up. Basketball, to play basketball like high school, play baseball. Maybe some of us played football if we were big enough and strong enough to be able to play football and our parents let us play because I know that was even an issue back when I was a kid. But now the growth of soccer, the growth of hockey, lacrosse, 
Kids are growing up playing other sports. They're doing other things. What else did we have to do when we were growing up, Michael? It was baseball season. It was football season. That's what we did, you know? Some of us liked hockey. Some of us liked basketball. But it was, we grew up, what, in the summertime it was baseball. In the wintertime it was football. Now things are different. So you got to compete. You can't just say, well, we're, we're the foundation of, of sports. We're the game that everybody loved. Well, they used to. Now you got to grow.